Microsoft are investing massively in Excel Online, and as a result, there are some features that are now better than they are in the desktop version of Excel. The great news is that anyone can use Excel Online for free, and you don't need an Excel license or a 365 membership. Let's take a look at the five features that are currently better in Excel Online. The first feature is searchable data validation lists. And these are one of the most requested features and it's been available in Excel Online since December 2021. You don't need to do anything special in the setup, search is on automatically. As you can see, as I type in bikes, the list gets filtered. It doesn't even have to be the first word in the cell. Then I can just arrow down to my selection, tap to enter it in the cell. The other cool thing is data validation automatically ignores duplicates. So we can see here that my source is the product column in the table and there are duplicates in there. But if I click on the drop down, you can see it only has one instance of each product. Unfortunately, it doesn't sort the list, but with search functionality, sorting is less important. Now searchable data validation is coming to desktop and they're currently available to some desktop Microsoft 365 users on the beta channel. However, just because you're on the beta channel doesn't guarantee you'll have this feature. It's only rolled out to about half of the beta users. The next feature is filter drop-down lists. If we click on it here, you can see that blanks is now at the top of the list. And this is something we MVPs have been asking for for years. Unfortunately, errors are still listed at the end, but you can't have everything all at once. A more compact version of the ribbon is a nice compromise to hiding the ribbon completely. It'll take a bit of getting used to where everything is, but I'm sure you'll pick it up in no time. And if you're a keyboard shortcut fan, then you'll hardly miss the ribbon at all. You can still have the classic layout via the drop down in the right, so we can go classic ribbon. We can even have it automatically hide and then it will pop back when you put your mouse in the green section at the top. The Show Changes tool, available in the Review tab and then Show Changes, enables you to keep track of edits to your workbooks across any endpoint. So changes could be made in desktop, online, or Mac, iOS and iPad. It doesn't matter where the change is made, you can see them in the Show Changes pane on the right. You can use the filter to narrow down the list, you get information about when it was changed, what was changed, and who made the change. Now, Show Changes is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to co-authoring Excel workbooks. I've included a link to another tutorial on the tools available for co-authoring, like sharing files, threaded comments, and more. So be sure to check that out. And finally, the Excel Online Conditional Formatting Interface is easier to use and more intuitive than the old clunky desktop version. If we open the Manage Rules dialog, we can then change the selection to show this sheet. We can see a list of the conditional formats we currently have. From here, we can edit them and delete them, or I can add a new one. For example, let's apply it to the category column. And we want to highlight cells with the cell value equal to components. Let's change the color to green. I'll click Done and now it's applied. The downside is that not all the functionality is available yet. For example, if we edit the data bar, you can see that the color options are limited to those in this palette. We can't actually specify a custom color, but I'm sure that's coming. I hope you're excited to give Excel Online a go. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.